Hello, welcome to today's topic, Lower Limp Anatomy MCQ for Physiotherapist. Moving to our first question. Which of the following muscle is the strongest flexor of the hip joint? Option A, semitendinosis. Option B, iliopsoas. Option C, gluteus medius. Option D, gracilis. And the answer is... Option B, iliopsoas. Moving to our second question. The myotome of plantar flexion of the great toe is Option A, L3, L4 Option B, L4, L5 Option C, L5, S1 Option D, S1, S2 And the answer is Option D, S1, S2 Moving to our third question The deltoid ligament belongs to the Option A, angle joint. Option B, hip joint. Option C, knee joint. Option D, talo calcaneo navicular joint. And the answer is Option A, angle joint. Moving to our fourth question. The medial and the lateral malleoli articulates with which of the following bone? Option A, femur. Option B, calcaneus. Option C, talus. Option D, cuboid. And the answer is Option C, talus. Moving to our fifth question. Ligamentous stability of the hip joint is provided chiefly by the Option A, ligamentum teres. Option B, ischiofemoral ligament. Option C, pibiofemoral ligament. Option D, iliofemoral ligament. And the answer is Option D, iliofemoral ligament. Moving to our sixth question. Unlocking of the knee joint to permit the flexion is caused by the action of which of the muscle? Option A. Vastus medialis. Option B. Popliteus. Option C. Gastronomus. Option D. Biceps femoris. And the answer is... Option B. Popliteus. Moving to our seventh question. Which of the following bone is the largest and strongest bone of the foot? Option A, talus. Option B, calcaneus. Option C, cuboid. Option D, navicular. And the answer is... Option B, calcaneus. Moving to our eighth question. The deep fascia of the thigh is known as which of the following? Option A, scrapa fascia. Option B, colis fascia. Option C, curial fascia. Option D, fascia lata. And the answer is... Option D, fascia lata. Moving to our ninth question. The adductor tubercle is located on which of the following bone? Option A, femur. Option B, fibula. Option C, fibula. Option D, ischium. And the answer is... Option A, femur. Moving to our tenth question. Which of the following muscle is a part of triceps coxia? Option A, obturator externus. Option B, camillae muscle. Option C, pubscriformis. Option D, gluteus medius. And the answer is... Option B, camillae muscle. Moving to our 11th question. Which of the following muscle is located in the posterior aspect of the thigh? Option A, semitendinosis. Option B, gluteus maximus. Option C, piriformis. Option D, internal operator. And the answer is... Option A, semitendinosis. Moving to our 12th question. Which of the following muscle is the flexor of the knee joint? Option A, popliteus. Option B, tibialis anterior. Option C, Fibulus longus, option D, extensor digitorum longus, and the answer is Option A, popliteus. Moving to our 13th question, the dermatome supplying the great toe is usually Option A, L3, option B, S1, option C, L5, option D, S2, and the answer is Option C, L5. Moving to our 14th question. Which of the following muscle passes out of the knee joint to reach the tibia? 
ஆப்ஷன் ஏ பிளண்டாரிஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி பொப்ளீட்டியஸ் ஆப்ஷன் சி சாட்டோரியஸ் ஆப்ஷன் டி கிரேசிலஸ் அண்ட் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் option b popliteus moving to our 15th question the oblique popliteal ligament is an expansion of the tendon of which of the following muscle option a popliteus option b plantaris option c adductor magnus option d semi membranous is and the answer is option d semi membranous is moving to our 16th question The popliteal artery is a branch of which artery? Option A anterior tibial artery, option B popliteal artery, option C posterior tibial artery, option D arcuate artery and the answer is option C posterior tibial artery. Moving to our 17th question. Which of the following major joint is the most frequently injured? option a shoulder option b ankle option c hip option d knee and the answer is option b ankle moving to our 18th question which of the following muscle function as an internal rotator of the hip option a iliopsoas option b sartorius option c gluteus medius option d obturator externus and the answer is option c gluteus medius moving to our 19th question the structure located in the subsartorial or adductor canal includes option a saphenous nerve option b popliteal vein option c great saphenous vein option d profunda femoris artery and the answer is option c great saphenous vein moving to our 20th question Obturator externus is innervated by which of the following nerve option A iliopharyngeal nerve option B femoral nerve option C obturator nerve option D lateral femoral nerve and the answer is option C obturator nerve moving to our 21st question fourth lumbar nerve root supplies option a hip flexors option b tibialis anterior option c skin of the great toe option d flexor longus digitorum and the answer is option b tibialis anterior moving to our 22nd question the dermatome present of the lateral side of the foot is option a s5 option b l3 option c s1 option d l4 and the answer is option c s1 moving to our 23rd question which of the following bone articulates with fibula tibia calcaneus and navicular option a talus option b lateral cruciform option d cuboid option d medial cruciform and the answer is option c cuboid moving to our 24th question the hamstring muscles originate from option a body of the ischium option b ramus of the pubis option c iliac crest option d ischial tuberosity and the answer is option d ischial tuberosity moving to our 25th question Which of the following muscle is the powerful push off muscle option A gastrocnemius option B soleus option C tibialis anterior option D flexor hallucis longus and the answer is option D flexor hallucis longus so that's all for today if you need clarification for any of the question do comment in the comment box i will be back with head and neck anatomy mcq for physiotherapy soon and if you want to see that video please do subscribe to this channel thank you